Hallelujah. Welcome, everybody. Happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family, visitors, and all joining us by audio and video. Amen. Amen. Bienvenidos a todos los que nos escuchan por audio y video. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. The Lord's got something for you. Receive it. You know, sometimes we receive what people, trash people are putting out out there. Or what you hear on the news. What you hear uh, negative, what you hear positive, negative things that people say. Negative things, uh, bad news from, from, from uh, TV or radio or whatever. Yeah. But we receive it. Amen. And this is the word of God. When you spend time with Him, receive the good things. Yes. Amen. And and have a positive attitude. We're going to have, be talking about waiting, waiting, waiting on the Lord. <laughs> waiting on the Lord takes patience. Amen. We're going to be talking about patience. And we're going to be talking about, you know, something I like to do. I like to fish. <laughs> and, you know, if, if you decide to go fish, guess what? You better have lots of patience. Mm -hmm. and, you be, and, you know, if you're going to go fish, Expect to catch something. Yeah. Amen. Expect to have a good time. You know, a lot of times I go fish and don't catch anything. Mm -hmm. But I expect to have a good time. You know, in between times of fishing and catching, if I don't catch, I'm spending time with him. Amen. And rejoicing in him. Filling myself up instead of being negative. Yes. But be positive. Say, thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. He's going to bless me with, with, with a good catch. Amen. Amen. So we're going to wait on the Lord. Amen. So prepare yourselves. Uh, grab your sword. And church, let's say it like we mean it. Let's make this declaration together. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same. In Jesus' name. Amen. What a declaration. Amen. This is good. You can write that down. This is good for, for, for you. It's good for me. So, waiting on the Lord. Amen. So, you know what? Open your Bibles to Isaiah. We're going to be talking. That's going to be our text. Amen. And we've uh, talked about this before. But we're going to bring it up again. Amen. Isaiah chapter uh, 40 and verse 31. Says the is no good. What, what does he mean by that? Too loud? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. It's been adjusted. I'm telling you. Isaiah 40 and 31 says this in the King James. It says, But they, okay? Yeah. They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified. The Amplified goes like this. Okay, we have uh, some slides. Thank you. It says, But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their yes. what? Their strength. strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. We need this on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Amen. Remember to open up with Him. And we're going to be talking about priorities. Yes. Set your priorities right each and every day. Start with Him. Have a relationship. Priorities, seeking Him first. Amen? Amen. Seek Him first. Matthew 6, 33. We're going to have all those scriptures in a few minutes. But seeking Him first and not myself. Yes. How am I going to do this? How is this going to happen? Uh, get yourself off the throne and put God on the throne. Yeah. And, 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 and yeah. praise Him and have time with Him. And you know what? When you leave your house, mm -hmm. you're going to be prepared for whatever's coming at you. Amen? You're going to be prepared. Prepare yourselves to go out there and be winners. Be warriors yeah. and not warriors. Yeah. Be winners and not losers. Mm -hmm. Be victorious. Amen? And not victims. Come on now. Ooh, man. Somebody need to hear this now. I need to hear it. I need <laughs> Hallelujah. The Amplified says this. But those who wait for the Lord, who expect, look for, and hope in Him, shall change and renew their strength and power. They shall lift up their wings and mount up close to God, as eagles mount up to the sun. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. 
Amen. This 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 is uh, this is great. Amen. So there is no shortage of God's power and might and strength. Our way is not hidden from Him. He has not forgotten about us. Amen. A lot of times that's the first thing we say. Well, God forgot about me. No, but we forgot about Him. Amen. We 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 got went and got in, in a mess, and our things are bad. But God forgot about why would God allow this to happen to me? No, you got away from the. His protection, his umbrella of protection, and the enemy is going to have you quick. Yeah. You know, we say this all the time. Be full time and not part time. Mm -hmm. You know what? Because part time Christian is no match to a full time devil. He's going to have you. The Bible says in John 10 10, he comes to do what? Steal, yeah. kill, yeah. and destroy. That's what he wants for you. Amen. That's what he wants for you. Steal, kill, destroy. So, you know, we got to be on God's side. And we got to be the warriors. We got to be the winners, yeah. the champions he's made us to be. That's right. And you know how you're going to do that? You're going to open up that book. Mm -hmm. You're going to open up the, the book of instruction, the Bible. Yes. Uh, uh, basic book of instructions uh -huh. before leaving earth. Amen. And we're going to open it up and get this word in us. When we get the word in us, mm -hmm. it can come out of us. And we confess yeah. The positive things and not the negative things the world's been putting in you. That's right. Not the negative things that you've been reading and seeing. Yeah. But you're going to confess the positive things. Yeah. This is what the Word of God says. I'm going to get my thinking straight. Amen. Amen. I'm going to get my thinking straight. Yeah. And lined up with the Word of God. Amen. Come on now. He's not forgotten about us. We forget about Him. Uh -huh. He will make Himself, His strength, available to us. He's always available to us. Yes, but you know, when we want to play around and, and be the, uh, well, uh -huh. we forget about him. We forget. We, we just leave and say, well, look, mm. you don't have to come with me everywhere I go, yeah. everything <laughs> I do. <laughs> but he is. He's always there. Yes, he is. Amen. He Praise makes these things available to us if we but trust him yes. and wait on his timing. Yes. You know, a lot of times we just go and just blast something at God. It's, Oh, I prayed, and we want an answer right now, instant. We're going to be talking about that, too. You know, we, everything is fast. You go to a fast food uh, restaurant, mm -hmm. and you quickly order something, and you want it quickly. You want it now. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Let's remember, it's his timing, yeah. not our timing. I'm trusting. I'm having faith, and I'm expecting. Yeah. Amen? But it's about his timing. Ooh, come on. Yeah. See yourself as an eagle. Soaring high, staying positive, not negative, staying connected, so being available. Remember that. Be available as a believer, as a child of God. Make yourself available. Yes. God won't use me. Well, are you making yourself available? Uh -huh. If you're not making yourself available, guess what? He ain't going to tackle you. That's it. That's <laughs> he ain't right. going to stop you. You need to make yourself available. Amen. Staying positive, staying connected, meaning Staying in relationship. Mm -hmm. Amen. Staying in relationship. And that includes studying to show myself approved. That means opening his word and studying. Yeah. So I can know the truth. That last week we talked about the truth is going to set you free. Remember we talked about Jesus says, I am the way. Yeah. The truth and the life. Mm -hmm. No one goes to the Father except through me. That's right. Amen. So <laughs> there's no other way. So might as well be studious mm -hmm. and be a studying child, God, yeah. amen. <laughs> we move forward, amen. We're going forward and not backwards. That's it. And we've talked about this too. You know, the armor of God is it, it, it talks about everything in the front of us is coming, mm -hmm. but not the back. <laughs> so don't turn around and go back because you it. ain't protected. <laughs> that's, that's just that's just me. <laughs> Having a winning attitude, staying positive, soaring high with God mm -hmm. over all cares. Over all troubles, over all problems, mm -hmm. over all sickness. Yes. Amen. Soaring high. You know what eagles do? Mm -hmm. They just soar high. They go up. And they get above all the problems. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need to do the same thing with God. Mm -hmm. We get above all the things that are coming against us. Yes, yes. Amen. With God, all things are possible. I want to be on His winning team. Amen. Yes. Amen. Not a losing attitude. Negative. Scratching. Uh, struggling, defeated, quitting, giving up, 
being worthy. You know, like chickens and hogs, you know, we're, yeah, we're, right, we're, right. we're, we're gonna, we're gonna scratch or we're gonna wallow. Amen. Mm -hmm. We don't want to do that. Psalms 23, 2 and 3. Let's, let's go there. Let's read that one. Psalms 23. Whew. Everybody knows. You know what? It wouldn't hurt to read the whole, uh, yeah. the whole song. <laughs> anyway, verses 2 and 3, though. Let's read the whole thing. The shepherd's song. That's what I'm going to start off with. Verse 23. I mean, chap uh, chapter 23. Or uh, Psalms 23, excuse me. The Lord is my what? Shepherd. My shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me besides the still water. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in a path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, he will walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Yeah. What? I will fear uh, no evil. For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Yeah. Thou prepareth the table before me in the presence of my enemy. Yeah. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Yeah. Amen. My cup runneth over. You know, when you fill yourself with the word of God. Oh, man. Amen. It says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers, rivers of living water. Keep yourself full. Keep yourself hungry. Keep yourself thirsty yes. for the word of God. Uh, uh, to overflowing. Amen. Nobody's going to do it for you. You got to do it for yourself. Yeah. Stir yourself up. Nobody's going to stir you up. You know, hey, let's go to the concert. Hey, let's go to the game. Man, it's great. And yeah. they tell you all kind of positive things mm -hmm. about going there and say, yeah, I want to go. Mm -hmm. Well, keep yourself strong. Keep yourself strong. Keep, keep your relationship connected. Keep your relationship strong in Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. And stir yourself up. Say, man, I'm a child of God. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Amen. Come on now. And number six says, Well, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Personalize it. Put your name where it should be. Amen. Amen. And make it for yourself. So praise God. And uh, turn it, uh, Carmen. See what, what else we got. Oh, we talked about attitude. Here we go. A, a bad attitude is like a flat tire. Oh, if you don't change it, you'll never go anywhere. Hey, I've got a beautiful car. I've got a beautiful truck. I've got a beautiful vehicle. Mm -hmm. But if you got a flat tire, mm -hmm. guess what? Or if you don't have no gas in it, yes. <laughs> you ain't going anywhere. You ain't going nowhere. Hey, Amen. But we're talking about the attitude. Mm -hmm. If your attitude is bad, yeah. you need to change it. Yes. And when you spend time with him, get it right. Yeah. Amen. Get it right and get it positive. Hallelujah. Keep going. Here we go. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. That's what we just read. Amen. So, praise God. Amen. Now, Psalms 27, uh, 14. Just turn uh, one page over. Psalms 27, 14. There we go. We'll read it in a few minutes here. It says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall what? Strengthen thy heart. Yeah. Wait, I say, on oh, the Lord. Lord. Yeah. And then the Amplified says this, wait and hope for and expect the Lord. Be brave and of good courage, yeah. and let your heart be stopped yeah. and enduring. Yes, wait for and hope for and expect the Lord. Amen. Yeah. My slide here says, Pay, wait patiently for the Lord. Mm -hmm. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. Mm -hmm. So I pray and I'm going to wait for the Lord. Amen. He remember, it's His timing. Yes. Okay? It's His timing. Mm -hmm. But these are good scriptures. Write them down. Amen. The uh, New Living Translation says, wait patiently for the Lord. Be brave and courageous. Yes, wait patiently for the Lord. This is what this is. Amen. Yes. So praise God. Oh, I'm excited. I don't know about yes. you, but I'm excited. Keep going, Carmen. This is King James, or New King James. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and He shall strengthen your heart. Yes. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Mm -hmm. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways mm -hmm. when they carry out their wicked schemes. Mm -hmm. Psalms 37, 7. Oh, let's go there. Just turn a few more pages. And let's go to Psalms 37. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. 
We're going to read uh, Psalms 37 all the way to Psalms 39. Amen. We are? Yes. You ready? You're going to read all of that? Psalms 37? Uh-huh. Verse 37? Yeah. The verse 39? Oh, there's only three, two scriptures. <laughs> no, I said 37. Oh, no, no. Okay, you ready? You ready? Okay, we're ready. <laughs> uh, let me make sure I'm on the right one. Yeah, you said 37. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, so which one is your heart did curse? Psalm 37. <laughs> Psalm 37. Am I in the right place are your pages sticking? Maybe so. Uh, mark the perfect man and be wholly upright, for the end of that man is peace. Uh -huh, it says, but the transgressors shall be destroyed together. Yes. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. And he shall deliver them yes. from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. Amen. If you're going to trust anyone, trust him. Mm -hmm. Have patience. Amen. With him. So praise yes. God. Woo, man, I'm excited. I don't know about you. Praise Thank you, God. Lord. Go one more, Carmen. Here we go. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Different translations. King James says this. Trust in the Lord. Yeah. With what? With oh. all thine heart. And lean not on your own understanding. In all thy ways. Acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy path. You know. We need him. He's our GPS. <laughs> Open the Bible. And hit it right. You know. He's going to direct our path. You know. He knows our path. He's called us, he's anointed us, he's called us, and he's equipped us. Yes. And the Bible says we can do all things through him. Yes. Amen. So we need to stay connected to him. Yes. And he's going to direct our path. Every one of you has a calling. Every one of you has been gifted, mm -hmm. different. Yes. Amen. To fulfill whatever God has called you to do. Mm -hmm. Ooh, come on. <laughs> right. Praise God, praise God. Yeah. Says in the Old Testament. Waiting for the Lord is for the Lord's provi uh, pro providing care. In the New Testament, he relates to Christ's second coming. In all cases, it's waiting expectantly with faith, yeah. hope, and trust. Mm -hmm. Be able to wait and trust in God's timing, mm -hmm. character, and goodness. He's not making us wait to see how long we can take it. Mm -hmm. Like we do one another. Well, I'm just going to make you wait. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to make you wait. I'll keep you waiting. Mm. Mm, that's what we do. No, he's not doing that. So waiting on the Lord, two elements. A complete dependence on him, a willingness to allow him to decide the terms, including his timing. Yes. Amen. Including the timing of his plan. Uh, James 1 and 3 says this. Uh -huh. It says, James, uh, excuse me, James uh, 1, 2, and 3 in the New uh, Century Version says this. My brothers and sisters, when you have many kinds of trouble, you should be full of joy. <laughs> because you know that these troubles test your faith. Oh, yeah. And this will give you patience. Mm. Amen. So we say, you know, don't ask God for patience. Because it's going to come. <laughs> and you're going to have to have some patience. Amen. Uh -huh. Let's go to James. Let's, let's read it in James. Mm. It's good, you know, to visit all yes. these books in the Bible. So you can know where we're at. <laughs> of course, James is in uh, in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. But James. Right after Hebrews. Right after Hebrews. Thank you. <laughs> James 2 and 3. My starts off with patience in temptation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> says, my brothers, my brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse yes. temptations. Okay. And verse 3 says, Know this, that the trying or testing of your faith worketh what? Patience. Patience. Amen. But and let's read forward. That's a good one too. It says, mm -hmm. but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entirely uh, waiting. Uh, wanting. 
wanting nothing. Amen? Mm -hmm. So, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Man, this is good. And of course, uh, also, uh, Galatians, keep going. There, were, oh, okay. there it is. <laughs> My brothers, count it all joy when you fall in various temptations, knowing this, that the trial of your faith worketh patience. Keep going, Carl. Yes. There we go. Patience is also, if you've never read it, one of the fruits of yeah. the Spirit. Yeah. Amen? So, one of the fruits of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such there is no law. Let's go to Galatians. Let's read that mm -hmm. from the King James. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Galatians chapter 5, and verse 22 and 23. Mm. Amen. Yeah. It says, but the fruit of the Spirit is what? Love, joy, joy patience, or excuse me, love, joy, peace, peace long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, faith, faith meekness, faith, temperance. Faith, against such there is no law. Amen. And uh, the Amplified says, but the fruit of the Spirit, of the Holy Spirit, the work which his presence within accomplished accomplish. says is love joy gladness peace patience and 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 every even temperate forbearing kindness goodness forbearing uh, benevolence uh, faithfulness gentleness meekness humility self-control self-restraint uh, contains uh, against such there is no law that can bring a charge Amen, man. This is this is great. So long suffering here is not the ability, not the ability to wait, but how we act while waiting. Yeah, Amen. Yeah. <laughs> how are we going to do? Just like, well, I'm gonna tell you about this uh, little story here about the little boy. We got a little boy. And he's fishing, but catching nothing. Yeah. A joyful, a happy, joyful man stopped mm -hmm. by and asked him. And encouraging him and said, Are you fishing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody come and ask you, Are you fishing? Mm -hmm. Say, What do you think I'm holding this fishing rod? <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm just here catching a, uh, a suntan or something? <laughs> but the man come and encourage him, build him up, you know? Yeah. And the little boy says, He replies, No, he says, I'm just drowning worms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting worms on these hooks and throwing them out there and drowning them. He had a bad attitude. Yeah. You know, the 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 the, the uh, joyful man comes to encourage him, greet him, yeah. say, you know, have a good day, be blessed. You know, mm -hmm. I'm praying that, that you catch something. Mm -hmm. But the little boy says, no, I'm drowning worms. You know, <laughs> get away, leave me alone. Oh God. You've been around people like this. Yeah. You know, or people been around you and say uh, how come you're always happy how come you're always joyful and they've got a bad attitude because you're happy yeah people don't want to see you happy mm -hmm. people want to see you miserable all the time yes. you know don't don't catch a bad attitude mm -hmm. <laughs> don't catch their bad attitude yes two wrongs don't make it right that's right things to have when you go fishing lots of patience and waiting expectantly with faith and hope that you're going to catch something. Yes. Even if you just catch a, some sun rays. <laughs> <laughs> Still, you went to have a good time. Yes, yes. You know, don't let you not catching anything make it bad. That's right. Or don't let somebody come and make it bad for you. Mm -hmm. The boy did not. The attitude is the key here. And on our daily lives, are you positive or negative? Attitude is a choice. Your choice. You choose. Yeah. Attitude. The boy's attitude was negative. The man's attitude was positive. He was happy, cheering him and checking on him, encouraging him, mm. uh, cheering him. Mm. But he had a bad attitude. He says, get lost. Leave me alone. <laughs> attitude is contagious. Is yours worth catching? Mm. That. Is yours worth catching? You know, think about it. Do I have a good attitude or a bad attitude? Only you can answer that. <laughs> Some of us are have attitudes according to whatever situations we're in. 
<laughs> Attitude is like a flat tire. You can't go anywhere until you change it. Attitude determines your altitude. You know, if you're going to be like eagles, you're going to soar high. So your attitude is going to be positive. And we want to keep a positive attitude and not a negative attitude. Soaring high, be positive. Scratching and wallowing low, that's negative. Your choice. It's your choice to start every day yes. with a positive or negative attitude. Yes. Psalms 118, 24 says what? This, this is the day. day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. It didn't say, well, you know, it's raining outside. It's yeah. snowing outside. It's too sunny outside. No, it's no. too hot outside. <laughs> uh, you know, I have to go to work. Whatever the situation may fit you. No, it says... I've given yes. you a new day. Yes. You've opened your eyeballs. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's the first miracle. Mm -hmm. You woke up. Yes. Now I'm going to get my attitude right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get right with him. Amen. Before I go anywhere. That's to be a blessing to somebody. Yes. He's blessed you to be a blessing for yeah. somebody. Mm -hmm. How are people going to listen to you if you got a bad attitude? Right. You know, you got to you know, be blessed. Mm -hmm. No. Be positive. Amen. Amen. Bible of uh, Philippians 4 13 says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You know what? I'm going to have a positive attitude because I know I can do all things yes. through all Christ things. who strengthens me. Yeah. Amen. And I'm going to be out, go out there and be a blessing because he's blessed me. And I want some I want to be a blessing for somebody. Yeah. And bless them. And leave be positive with them. Leave a good word with them. Mm -hmm. And lift them up. Instead of putting them down, yeah. it's easy. There's too many people out there already putting people down. Yeah. There's too many people out there putting you down. It's time that you stir yourself up, yeah. lift yourself up, and go lift yeah. somebody else up. Yes. Amen. You're blessed to be a blessing. Yes, you are. Come on. Amen. <laughs> Have an attitude of gratitude. Ephesians 5 and 20 says, Giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So have an attitude of gratitude. Amen. Attitude of thanksgiving. Hey, let's, let's go read this one. Have an attitude of thanksgiving. Let's go, let's go to Psalms 100. Yeah. Man, we're in the book of Psalms today, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Psalms for today. Psalms for today. Go to Psalms 100. If you don't know this one, you need to learn it. Mm -hmm. You can learn one every day. Yep. Amen. Are you there? Yes. Psalms 100 says what? It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with sadness. Gladness. Oh, gladness. <laughs> Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing, singing complaining, <laughs> crying. <laughs> singing. <laughs> singing. Know ye that the Lord he is God is. He that made us. And now we ourselves, we are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Yes. Amen. It says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Amen. The Lord is good. Yes, he is. We serve a, a, a blessing God. We serve a blessed God. Amen. Yes. He wants to bless you. He wants to be good with you. And we need to do the same thing. We're supposed to be imitators of yes. our God. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Yes. Have an attitude of a winner. Matthew 6, 33 says what? Keep going, sir. Oh, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. This is in the NIV. I can do everything through Him who gives me strength. Yes. You need strength, you go to Him. Amen. Keep going. Here we go, Matthew 6, 33. But seek, seek first, seek first, first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. But seek first. Amen. If you're not seeking him first, you have to get your priorities in order. I know you have a priority list. And you have a maybe a work priority list or a home priority list. But make sure... That priority list starts off with Jesus first. Yes. Amen. Start off with Him first on your list. Lord, before yes. I start anything, I just want to say yes. thank you for this beautiful day. 
thank you for giving me the strength and for being who you've called me to be. Yes. Be the best I can be of what you called me to be. Amen. And to fulfill what you've called me to do. Yes. Amen. So seek first the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. And of, of God and uh, for his righteousness. And all these things shall be added on to you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Attitude is a little thing that makes a big difference. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's a little thing that makes a big difference. Are you being positive or are you being negative? Sometimes we may feel like the little boy fishing. Impatient, annoyed, irritated, edgy, just wasting my time, mm -hmm. spinning my wheels, haven't accomplished anything. Sometimes we voice these things. Yeah. Sometimes we give voice to these things and we say these things. Mm -hmm. And we should be careful not to say those things because words, remember, yeah. death and life are in the power of the oh. tongue. Death and life are in the power of the words you speak. Yes. Yes. So you're giving voice to these things and you're sowing these things yeah. in your life. And whatever you sow, whatever you plant, is going to grow. Yes. So be careful not to say those things. Amen. Mm -hmm. Woo. As a matter of fact, this is one of our best scriptures mm. that we read all the time. Let's go to 1 Peter uh, 5, 7. In Yay, I got all these things. But guess what? First Peter 5 7. Thank you, Lord. First Peter is right before Second Peter. <laughs> First Peter chapter 5 and verse 7 says. Let's read it verse 6 first. It says, Humble yourself, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in what? In due time. time. His timing. Mm -hmm. Amen. And verse 7 says this. Casting all care upon him because he careth for you. And let's read verse 8. Be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. You know how he's going to devour you? Uh -huh. It's the words you speak. Yeah. You're giving voice. Is it being negative or is it being positive? Mm -hmm. Because if it's negative, it's going to open doors for him to come. I say, man, I don't know how this is happening. <laughs> well, you voiced it. Mm -hmm. And you gave permission for the enemy to come. Yeah. Or you entertained thoughts mm -hmm. and gave voice to it. And now yep. he's in. So you got to say, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. Lord, I repent of that. Uh I'm closing that door mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> give no place. It says give no place no to place the devil. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about that in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. But also, let's go to Philippians. Just go back. Mm -hmm. Philippians, another good good uh, scripture. Oh, they're all good. Yes, they are. Let's go to Philippians chapter four and verse six and eight. Six to eight. Hey. Are you there? Yep. All right, let's go. Uh, Philippians uh, chapter 4, verses 6 through 8. It says, Be careful for nothing, yes. but in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Mm -hmm. And the peace of God, which passes all yes. understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. It says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, Yes. Whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, mm -hmm. if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, yes. think mm -hmm. on these things. He tells us what to think on. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because the enemy will put thoughts in you. Yeah. <laughs> and of course, if it's the enemy, it's bad thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> he'll put some thoughts in you. He won't make you do anything, but he'll put some thoughts in you. Mm -hmm. And if you take it, yeah. And meditate on it mm -hmm. and do what it's telling you to do, mm -hmm. then you're opening for the for for the enemy. Yes. Opening the door for the enemy. But if you think on it on, on these things that he's telling you to think, mm -hmm. you think you're positive. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna be positive. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. So praise God. <laughs> Got to have it now. Woo man, hey. Mm -hmm. 
I got my credit card, let's do it. <laughs> Put it on the card. <laughs> we also live in a fast and instant world of fast services, fast food, oh, yeah. fast cars, instant information, yes. Facebook, internet, computers, cell phones, <laughs> instant credit. Hey, mm -hmm. buy it. Why buy it later when you can buy it now? Yeah. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. Again, today and daily, live life to the fullest by soaring high, yes. running and uh, walking over all your troubles, your cares, your distractions, temptations, trials, overcoming this negative world, bad news, and sad news. Amen. That's all they're going to put out. Mm -hmm. You know, you're the only one. You're his ambassador. Yes. His mouthpiece on earth. Yes. And nobody can put the word out like you can. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. They put out all the negative stuff. Yeah. You put out the good news. Yes. The positive things of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. So nobody can do it. But he's called us to do it. Says, yes. I'm a minister of reconciliation. Tell you something. I'm an ambassador for God. Yes. Amen. I'm victorious with God. Amen. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Build yourself up. Amen. Yes. Praise God. John 16, 33 says this. These things I have spoken to you, that in me you will have peace. In the world you will have tribulations. You will have misfortunes, trials, sufferings, uh -huh. and troubles. But be of good cheer. Yes. I have overcome the world. Yes. He's telling us these things. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. So see yourself the way God sees you. He sees you soaring. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 40 and 31 says. He sees you running. Yes. Hebrews 12 and 1. And walking. Psalms 23. We read that. Amen. Mm -hmm. So pressing on and being an overcomer for God. Amen. Overcoming, of course, the, the cares, the troubles, the setbacks, the failures, the lacks. And anything that makes you fall. Anything that makes you fail. Any distractions that make yeah. you want to quit or start. Yes. Yes. Amen. Woo. Come on. Yeah. You're overcoming all these things. Mm -hmm. We can soar and overcome the world and Satan with him. The Bible says in John 4, 4. 1 John 4, 4. You are of God, little children, and will overcome them because yeah. he who is in you is greater than he that is in the world. Right, right. He that's in you is greater than he that is in the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on now. It's not good when people <laughs> are in bondage, imprisoned by sin, bad habits, the ways of the world, or other little foxes mm -hmm. that would stop them from being free yes. and victorious to what God has called them to do. Mm -hmm. These things are stopping you. These things are holding you back. Mm -hmm. Say, hey, get them out and let go and let God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Church, let go of whatever makes you stop. Yeah. What's making you stop? Let it go. Let go and let God. With Him, all things are possible. Things. Again, waiting on the Lord requires faith, patience, hope, and expectancy. Mm -hmm. Waiting on the Lord has hopeful results. One thing some of us are not good at is waiting or having patience. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and we talked about fishing. <laughs> and He has made us fishers of men. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He told his disciples, you know, well, he went out, borrowed his boat, says, take me out a little ways, you know, and he got out. He was going to preach, but he ran out of space. Mm. So he asked them for the boat so he can go and stand and, and preach at him. Finally, when there was, when he was done, mm. then he told him, go fish here. And the fisherman told God, said, wait a minute. You telling us how to fish? We're fishermen. We're professional fishermen. And you're telling us we've been out all night. Mm -hmm. Fishing. Didn't catch anything. Mm -hmm. And now you come up here for a few hours or whatever time. <laughs> and you're telling us to fish and just drop. He says drop your nets. Mm -hmm. Plural. He says drop your nets on this side. Mm -hmm. And they drop. He says. First he says. We've been out all night. Didn't catch anything. But because you said it, mm -hmm. he was obedient. Yes. And he did it. Yeah. But he only dropped one net. Yes. And it was so full, mm -hmm. they needed help to get the thing in the boat. Yes, yes. Amen. So, <laughs> listen, God is not going to give you one for one. Mm -mm. He's going to bless you with more, more abundance. More Amen. Than more than enough. Amen. Yeah. Come on now. Hey, if that yeah. don't bless you, I don't know what will. You need to get saved. <laughs> 
<laughs> Some of us, we just start pacing the floor. We easily get impatient. We don't guard our, our mouth. Words start just shooting out. Your words, the words you speak are carriers. Yes. And they have the power of life or death. Yes. Of positive or negative. Yeah. Amen. We got to be careful with that, you know. We just shoot out words like nothing. But God spoke this world into existence yes, with did. words. He created just by words. Amen. So words are powerful. He says there's power in the words you speak. Yeah. Yeah, amen. He says the tongue, but it's the words you speak. Mm -hmm. There's power in the words. We will reap what you sow. Remember the hardest thing to take is the tongue. Yes, and sometimes we can't zip. You know, we've heard this one before. It says zip the lip. <laughs> Don't say it. It's times when Jesus could have said things and he just helped help the word. He just helped. He didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. And but we sometimes we can't hold help hold ourselves back. I just gotta give you something negative that you gave me. I'm gonna give it back to you. <laughs> but you're really sowing it for yourself. Mm -hmm. So we gotta be careful. James 3 and 8 says this, but no no one has ever been able to tame the tongue. It is evil and uncontrollable, full, full of deadly poison. Oh boy. Amen. So be careful. Also says, give no place to the devil. If you do, listen to this. You can, you can write this down. If you give place to the devil, he wants to rule you. He wants to drive you, guide you, devour you. His mission, again, yeah. is steal, steal, kill, and destroy. John 10, 10. He wants to rule you, drive you, guide you, and devour you. That's what he wants to do. Mm -hmm. So there's no, he says, give no place to the devil. No place. Church, no. we must renew. We must get renewed. Uh, Psalm 51 and 10 says this. Lord, uh, create in me a clean heart, O oh God, yes. and renew a right, right. spirit yeah. within me. Amen. Renew yeah. means, implies through restoration of what had happened or faded out or collapsed. And it's now a new beginning. It's now a new start. A brand new life. A changed life. You know, I've had people, well, <laughs> I've said it myself. And I've had people say, you know, hey, I'm going to start a new life with Christ. Mm -hmm. And you don't see them ever again. <laughs> yeah. You got to make a commitment. Yes. You got to make a commitment and commit yourself. Say, hey. I want to make a new beginning, a new start, a brand new life. I want yeah. a, a change. Mm -hmm. You know what? I didn't like the way it went. Remember the prodigal son? Oh, yeah. He went. Yes, he did. And he didn't like that. So he says, I can make this right. Mm -hmm. I just go back to Father's house. Yeah. I just go back to God. Mm -hmm. Remember, your changed life only takes one step. That's it. You, all you have to do is do an about face. Mm -hmm. And you're back with him. Yes. When you do an about face, he embraces you. Yes. And say, welcome home, son. Welcome home, daughter. Amen. Remember that. All it takes is one step. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, hallelujah. I think we're going to close there. Amen. And thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. So waiting upon the Lord mm -hmm. will be higher yeah. over the storms of life. And have faith and strength to endure all of Satan's attacks. Waiting upon him will lift us up higher and higher. Yeah. You will be above and not beneath. You'll be the head and not the tail. And able to do all things through him. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. That yeah. blessed me. I don't know about you. Yes. <laughs> but it blessed me. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yes. For your beautiful word, Lord. Have your way. Thank you, Lord. Some of you out there listening, this might be your first time, but uh, we don't want to close, give you an opportunity. All you have to do is say, Lord, I repent of my sins. Come into yes. my life, be my Lord and Savior. Amen. If that's you, you know, all you have to do is confess it with your mouth yes. and say it and start a new life with him. Amen. You know, hook up with a, a new church, a Bible-based church that teaches the word of God where yes. you can make a, a difference, where you can start learning. Yes. And doing things and change change your life 
and start doing for God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Be all God made you to be. Amen. Yes. So praise God. If you're hurting anywhere, just touch that part of your body that's aching. Father, I just thank you. Your word says, by Jesus Christ, I am healed from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. You spirit of infirmity, we cast you out. We command you to go. We don't receive yes. you. And I thank you, Father, this temple of God. This body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And I receive no sickness in this body, no malfunctions in this body. And I call myself well, and I call myself healed. Yes. And I receive it in yes. Jesus' name. Make sure you say that. I receive my healing now yes. in Jesus' name. So praise God. Thank you, Lord. And before we let you go, I just wanted to give you an opportunity to time to give. Those that are watching or listening would like to give your tithe, your offerings. You can still do so. Just go to our website. It's yes. on the screen. NBCBigBid.com. Hit that donate button. If you mail it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Amen. God loves you and we love you. Amen. So, hallelujah. Let go and let God. Amen. Praise God.